Oh my gosh. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jamie Jo and today we are trying out the TikTok viral Denman brush technique where you wrap the curls around the base of the neck and then you get super tight spirals. This is the first time I'm trying this out on my hair and I typically like separated big voluminous curls so this is a very different routine for me. Let's try it out together and um, see how it goes. The technique I'm doing is not perfect because it literally is the first time I've done it and it took me a lot of fiddling but we got there in the end. But the end result to be a surprise so we can really get a fun first impressions together. Let me know what you guys think below in the comments and follow me on my TikTok for kind of curly hair videos a lot more throughout the week. I love you all. Thanks for supporting my channel and yeah, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Let's hop into it. Okay guys, let's try out this viral TikTok curly hair routine and see what it's all about. You know I've used a Denman brush for years but in a few different ways. I really prefer big voluminous separated curls more like about volume separation and like massive hair rather than spirally defined hair so this will definitely be a different routine for me today in the shower i started with olaplex number three before the shower left that in for around 10 minutes then i used olaplex number four the clarifying shampoo on my scalp and ends a little bit and then i use the bond um, conditioner which is number five that's everything i use in the shower on my hair now i'm going to apply Olaplex number six, bond smoother. I'm going to now I'm gonna follow that up with a little bit of apple apple. I always say that apple and aloe defining ugh, curl definer from Tali Wajid. So I have a feeling my hair needs to be super wet for this. I'm going to wet it one more time. In the comb, I'm going to go away from my face. So let's grab it here, pull it halfway, and then twist it. And then I'm going to wrap it upwards. I'm going to twist it and release the curl. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Except I want my front piece to curl away from my head. I figured it out. Keep it tight. I think that's the trick. That's quite pretty. Let's keep going. That's a bit better. guys have a lot of patience. I think the reason I like big separated curls is because it's so quick and easy <laughs> and this shit takes forever. I want to redo this because she's, she's not living. That was good. Now, this technique definitely does work. I just don't think I'm the best at it yet. I need to practice. I might redo this. I'm not the best at it. I'm not the best at this technique yet, but I think it is a really great technique. It's definitely created some beautiful clumps. Um, it definitely manipulates your hair texture though. It's not going to be like your natural curl pattern. Taking this section, I don't know if it's going to be different on this side, easier or harder. It's definitely harder for me to see my mirror. Okay. Okay. 
I'm really struggling with this side of my head. A million years later, we have finally arrived. This was difficult, I'm not gonna lie. I wanna just try something different. I'm thinking this is gonna be a much better technique. It's alright. What I'm predicting is very flat curls from the top of my head, but def definition and spirals on the bottom. My hair's going to look not voluminous at all once this is dry, but when we separate curl clumps a little bit, it will still look pretty. This needs some time to set, and it really needs a cast, so I'm going to use a gel from the Curly Girl Movement. Um, I don't know how to, <laughs> how to apply this, I guess, without breaking the clumps that I applied it first. So guys, I don't really know if this is the technique for me, but if you like this look, it could definitely work. I don't think this is something I would do every time I style my hair. Okay, now that I look like a founding father, uh, let's continue. This, oh my god. Cheers if this works for you, but I don't think it's my vibe. I'm using a tiny bit of oil. My, I can just already tell the front of my hair is just not cute. <laughs> Like they look beautiful, definitely. They look really pretty. She's not looking too good under there. Okay, my friends, this is where we're at. You can definitely get super, super to find ringlets but I feel like it doesn't look as nice to frame the front of your face it's flatter on top and then um, with my hair type that kind of thrives off a little bit smaller clumps and separated hair this is not the best it takes a really really long time and um, it just doesn't give me the desired look. You could like separate the hair a lot less than I have to minimize frizz, but then you're gonna be left looking a bit like a founding father. Um, like there's still some really nice parts of my hair. Anyway, that's the end of today's video. I probably won't be doing this routine very much unless I want to just single out a few little bits and pieces. Um, but you guys let me know your thoughts. I would love to know your thoughts. I love the products I used, however, and I'm kind of upset. I feel like I've kind of ruined a wash day, uh, in, a, in a sense. Um, but what can you do? We did it for the TikTok and we did it for the YouTube bit. So I hope you enjoyed. I love you guys.